What's good, guys? Squad, it's your boy, Cat at the Guy, and I'm back, baby. We got some anime news, you feel me? We got a new developer on the block, you feel me? About to, you know, post up and give Bandai a little taste of their money, a little running for their money, you feel me? Now, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Shueisha. Shueisha is a new anime game developer that's going to bring you some of the dopest Shonen Jump games right from the IP. So let's dive right into this video. Hope you like, subscribe, comment, it, and hope you gain some new godly energy and some new knowledge. You feel me? Let's dive into it. So Shueisha has started their own game division called Shueisha Games. And the purpose of this is they're about to start making games from the Shonen Jump IP. So don't get me wrong. Y'all know I love Bandai, but sometimes they be dropping a ball on anime games. Now, with Shuisha coming through and dropping their own development team and going through and dropping Shonen Jump IPs, I'm talking about like straight from manga to games, it's, it's going to be fire. So there's there have been like several titles in development like literally from indie to triple a from uh rogue lights to hella multiplayer games it's just it's about to be crazy like one of the games that they had is captain velvet meteor it's about a young boy who moves to japan for family reasons with anxieties about his new life he finds strength by calling upon his favorite jump plus heroes to help him find his quest part and gear you feel me it's just fire like come on now we getting straight from shonen jump to the triple a to the indie game titles all from Shuisha. Now that game was a Nintendo, was a Nintendo Switch type of game. Now there's nothing wrong with Nintendo Switches, but I know a lot of people don't play the game like that on the Switch, unless like that's your main console. Now, if you're looking for some more games coming from Shuisha, one is called Oni, and don't get me wrong, it's been looking fire, but it is a 3D action platform type of game. And it's really about, you know, you're gonna break your enemy's heart to reclaim your pride. And Kuda, he's a demon, is challenging a man to a battle but was defeated now when he gets to the island he has to overcome a bunch of obstacles gain new strength you know the typical shonen thing you lose you must get strong you have to work hard to get back what you just lost in this regards he lost his battle his heart and his pride now this game was developed by Kine Design. They had worked on Terror Battle, Fantasian, a bunch of other dope, dope games. Now I'm looking forward to just damn near anything that's coming from them. But the one that looks the most dope to me is one that has like a Tokyo aesthetic looking type of deal, like Ghostwire that gives it that cultural, that cultural respect that really shows you this is how Tokyo is supposed to be and this is how beautiful this city looks. And then the next one is Yukio. Now, Yukio is, is an adventure single player game. And I think this is about to be the one because it's in a, it's basically like a, I want to say a Japanese cyberpunk adventure. And with that, come on now, we all was hyped about cyberpunk majority of us. Now you put the Japanese aesthetic on that, it's going to be heat. So it's a virtual world filled with, uh, you know, of course, Japanese avatars. However, there is some small anomalies, some things that is wrong going on in Cyberpunk and that Cyberpunk Japanese adventure. All the friends in the game had become residents of the game. In order to return to the real world, Kai, a samurai cat, traveled through the virtual space with his, you feel me, with his own abilities. So this sounds like some sort of art online to me. We speaking about some anime. We got a bunch of friends. We got a bunch of people we rock with get stuck in the game. We realized it. Now it's on us to totally figure out how to save these people. Now look, y'all, it has been so fucking fire. Like I, I literally can't wait. Now, thank y'all for watching. Please let me know if it's any Shonen Jump games that you think should be made by Shu Isha. You feel me? Comment below. Let me know what you thinking. Like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, man. I see y'all beautiful people.